Hi, I'm Grace. And I'm Religion. And we both think that our way is best. So what's in the bag? These? These are my rules. Rules for what? You know, the rules for good moral Christian living. What kind of rules are those? Oh, I'll show you. Here's one right here. Thou shalt never look upon any unclean thing. You know what that means, don't you? No movies. I never go to the movies. Better safe than sorry. No movies at all? No. I, I suppose you go to the movies? Once in a while. I check out the reviews before I go. Occasionally I make a mistake, but God forgives me. It's no big deal. You're pretty strict about the no movie thing though, huh? I prefer to preserve my integrity. So, would you say turn your car around in a parking lot of a movie theater? Absolutely not. In fact, as I'm driving up the road, as I'm passing the Cineplex, I look the other way. That sounds dangerous. Well, my claims adjuster seems to think so. But, hey, you know, it's a good chance to witness. Unless, of course, you're a witness in, you know, traffic court. So I got a letter from my homeowners association about some violations, and it got me thinking. I think I treat God like he's the head of the HOA. <laughs> Follow me with this. HOAs have a bunch of rules. If you play by the rules, everything's great. But one little slip up. Here come the violation letters. I got a trash bag in my tree. Need to weed my plants. I gotta put my address on my mailbox. My fence wasn't approved. I'm always walking on eggshells worrying that I might do something wrong or get fined. But God doesn't work this way. He's not sitting on his throne waiting for me to mess up. Mm. Grace and mercy are his style. You know, grace, uh, unmerited favor, like I basically can do nothing to deserve it. God loves me unconditionally. There's no strings attached. God loves me even though I've got a bag in my tree, even though I need to weed my plants. He is so patient with me. Through his love, he nudges me on and encourages me to work on these things. So, no violation letters, just God's unending grace. Who is God to you? Is he a rule maker? Or is he a grace giver? You decide.